it is always, as I said, a pleasure, also in, 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 not only in the personal side, but also in the professional side, because the knowledge uh, and the tradition of the Korean people, uh, if you go to in Europe, for instance, uh, you, you, you find a lot of, of uh, musicians playing, uh, Korean musicians playing in uh, orchestras in Europe, or also in the United States. Uh, are there artists or singers who were a great influence on you? I mean, who played an important role in your early years? I always admire, and uh, for me, have been not, no artist, no tenor in the world like uh, Giuseppe Di Stefano. Yeah. And uh, he has been always my idol. But not only Di Stefano, I mean, uh, Montserrat Cavalier played uh, an important role in my, in my, in my career, in my early, early days. Number one soprano. I agree with that. I agree with that. <laughs> it appears that he recognized your talents right from the beginning. He was present when I, I had. I, I was fortunate enough to, to win the Verdi competition in Parma. Um, I understand that Giuseppe Di Stefano gave you a costume. That's right. Yeah. He's much bigger than you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that was uh, for my debut at uh, La Scala, Teatro La Scala in Milan. Well, of course, he's a. Uh, a uh, very hard uh, moment to face a diagnosis uh, of uh, suffering from uh, acute lymphoblastic leukemia and uh, uh, an ex extraordinary support uh, that came from anonymous people around the world. Well, after I was lucky enough to, to overcome this uh, very severe disease, I thought that I have to establish uh, uh, a foundation, an, in an initiative that fights against the same disease I was suffering from. This is why, why we created the Jose Carreras International Leukemia Foundation. By the way, do you miss uh, Baba Rapti sometimes? Who well, said course, that he considered you as the younger brother? Of course, because uh, I'm not only missing the, the wonderful singer he was, but I'm missing the man, I'm missing the friend. Uh, he was a, a guy full of, uh, of energy, of ways, and, and uh, ideas, and uh, was very uh, unreachable to. to to talk to him and to, to spend time with him. Uh, personally, I like, I love your uh, Lamento di uh, uh, Federico by Chilia. Your voice, your voice is so, so touching, so appealing, so exquisite. Uh, what do you think is your uh, own artistic character? The only thing I can say is that I try to put my voice and my emotions at the service of the interpretation. I mean, I think uh, to sing is not only make beautiful uh, tune, beautiful sound, but it's uh, something a bit more deeper than that. It is quite funny that you studied chemistry and music <laughs> in the University of Barcelona. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, the thing is, 
I went to the university for only one year, one and a half year in Barcelona, and I started to, to, to study chemistry because uh, my, my brother and my brother-in-law have uh, established a little cosmetic company, oh. and, and we thought that the chemistry could be a good, a good solution. Uh, sir, uh, is there any musician in your family? No, they are all normal people. Uh, then, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 they are no musicians. Not before, not uh, uh, in the next generation. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, what do you think? Uh, do you think the artistry, I mean, uh, art instinct is something that gifted or educated? No, the instinct, the, the, uh, the intuition for art or for, for music, I think, is a gift. But then, if you have this gift, you can develop this gift, you can improve this gift, you can, you can uh, modulate this gift, uh, but, but the first input has to be the, what we call talent. You have to be born with that in, in every field.